Understanding to be in tune, a guide to English idioms. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, to be in tune. Understanding idioms like this one is crucial for mastering the English language. So, let's dive in and find out what it means to be in tune and how you can use this expression in everyday conversations. To be in tune is an idiom that originates from music. In music, when an instrument is in tune, it means it's perfectly adjusted to produce the correct notes. Similarly, when we use this phrase in everyday language, we mean that someone is in harmony or agreement with a person or a situation. It's often used to describe a good understanding or a synchrony of thoughts and feelings between people. To really grasp this idiom, let's look at some examples. 1. In a team setting, our team is in tune with each other, which is why we work so efficiently. 2. In personal relationships, I love talking to Anna, we're really in tune about so many topics. 3. In understanding situations, he is in tune with the current market trends, making him a great asset to the company. These examples show how versatile the phrase is and how it can be applied in various contexts. It's easy to confuse, to be in tune, with being knowledgeable or skilled. But remember, this idiom specifically refers to agreement or harmony. It's not about individual expertise but about a shared understanding or connection. 1. Observe context. Use this phrase when referring to agreement or harmony in thoughts, feelings, or actions. 2. Pair with descriptions. Enhance your sentence by adding descriptions, like, perfectly in tune, or completely in tune. 3. Practice in conversations. Try using this idiom in your daily conversations to get more comfortable with it. That's all on, to be in tune. Remember, idioms like this one add color and depth to your English. I hope this video helps you understand and use, to be in tune, confidently in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.